I think there's consensus across the entire commission that this is a tremendous opportunity that we can afford our constituents and quite frankly it will uh, afford some tax revenues to many communities as we look to take these facilities to the next level. Uh, everyone in here is aware that, er that the people that serve on this commission are not paid uh, to fulfill this role. And I look at the time that Dr. McMillan has put in on this. Thank you isn't enough, but on, on behalf of all of us, thanks for all your efforts. You have busted it and uh, gone above and beyond in uh, working to make this become a reality. And, and I personally greatly appreciate that. We're not going to take comments from the public nor the commission today on this particular matter because this is a work in progress. If you have any thoughts that you would like to share, I encourage you to email them to Commissioner McMillan or any of the commissioners that serve on this committee. Um, it helps. Some people don't think we look at those comments, but rest assured, we take them very, very seriously. So again, Dr. McMillan, thank you so much. With that, I'll turn it over to the Budget Committee. Uh, Chairman David Watson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it has come to our attention that maybe our fee structures on unstaffed flying ranges are not what they should be. And at that time, I'd like to turn it to Commissioner Bledsoe. Thank you, Chairman Watson. Uh, Director Carter, I know you're going to come up and present the budget in a minute, but uh, it has been brought to my attention that it, it is in your capabilities and I would like to form this in a form of a motion to, uh, to waive the shooting range fee for all non-manned shooting ranges for licensed license holders or WMA permit holders. I'd like to make that in the form of a motion. We're here a second. Sir. Any discussion from the commission? I've, I've got several calls and I, I I was under the understanding or just my misinterpretation that if you had a, a license or sportsman's license or lifetime license or a, or a WMA permit that, you know, the ranges on those WMAs that were unmanned that you could go out and line up your rifles and stuff. But it was brought to my attention by uh, Mr. Randy Hoover. He's in the room here that that isn't necessarily so. And then we got to checking and found out that you have the authority to waive that fee and that was that's why I'm making this motion so any questions from the floor from the public okay I'd also like to add before we vote that uh, the the revenue from this was almost minuscule I mean it's we're, we're not going to be missing on any money it's just a I guess a just a oversight so Every, everyone on the, it's going to be a committee vote, right? Yes, sir. Everyone on the budget committee, we're going to vote right now. For it, say aye. 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 Anyone against it? Okay. Passes. Thank you, Chairman Watson. Thank you, Chairman. Mr. Chairman. We, we can make that change almost immediately. We're glad to do that for the license holders of the state of Tennessee. Thank you, Director. Mr. Chairman, uh, with your permission, we're about to step into the budget. I think we're going to take a 10-minute break, but before we do, uh, Mr. Hoover, thank you for bringing this to our attention. Thank you for your service on Tennessee Highway Patrol. Uh, it's, both are greatly, greatly appreciated. With that, we will take a 10-minute break, and we will reconvene in the Budget Committee. <laughs> 